Hey, it's the odd man. I am at Lake Taps. Lake Taps is east of Tacoma and a couple hours from my house. But look at this map. Doesn't it look spectacular as a place to go kayaking? I started on the southern end of the lake here at the Allen York Park. I don't usually wear the life jacket, but given that this comes straight out of the mountains down the White River and all the warnings about cold water, I thought maybe I should wear it just as an additional insulator. I'm not adequately prepared for immersion. I'm on Lake Taps, of course. I just rounded the corner, heading up towards Mount Rainier. I'm wearing all my sea acting paraphernalia, the spray skirt, life jacket. As I noted, the water's pretty cold here. And currently I'm going up the arm where the water comes in from White River. So it could be even colder there. This looks like just another arm of the lake. And it has zillions of them. But this is the arm where the White River flows in. This is the end of a 14-mile canal from a dam on the White River up above Buckley. I've always thought of Lake Taps as kind of a rich guy's enclave. And there are certainly a zillion nice houses here. And there's miles of shoreline. But you too could own a house here if you want. Here's one. There are a few places on the lake that aren't developed. This is Snag Island. I wonder why it's called that. I don't get it. Beautiful place like this and people throw their trash in it. What a bunch of idiots. Looks like the dog's enjoying it. Lost track of my sunglasses. They're lost on the beach back there somewhere. Oh, they turned down the music. Too bad it was it was it was quite party like here for a moment. So how'd you do? Did you catch any fish? Oh, I got a few bites, but I didn't get anything to the boat. One of the things I didn't anticipate is how dangerous the wake boarders are the wake surfers because they're trying to make a huge wake and they are pretty steep their wakes are steep and deep Hey, look at this. I found a place to rest my bones and eat lunch. 
Good timing. It's just lunchtime. I'm starving. This is the park at Lake Taps and the view on a spectacularly nice day. This dog likes the lake. He's chasing ducks. Look at this maintenance underway in the shadow of Mount Rainier. I think he even washed my picnic table for me before I got here. How sweet is that? This was a really nice break, but now it's time to head back. There are a lot of little patches of this weed in here. The website says they only manage the invasive Eurasian milfoil, which this is not, and they don't manage any other aquatic vegetation. Lake Taps has a relatively interesting history. In 1910, it was built from four different lakes, and then they raised the water level five feet with a dike around the outside, and it was built to generate power for the city of Tacoma. And now, exactly 100 years later, in 2010, was bought by five cities and a couple of utilities that make up the Cascade Water Alliance. And now it's managed for clean water and recreation. Blue well, Taps is not yet used as a water supply, but the plan is that is a future project. And it was managed by the power utility every year. The water level was lowered way down and in order to generate power. Now that doesn't happen. So the homeowners got a big boost out of that change. <laughs> One of the ongoing challenges with water quality in this lake is the dog poop runoff from people's yards, along, of course, with fertilizer, chemical, herbicide, pesticide runoff, too. But I, th but I think at the end of the day, they're making great efforts to educate homeowners and so forth, since this is potentially a drinking water source for the area. No one on the lake is allowed to draw irrigation water out of the lake. No irrigation is allowed from lake water. This is the odd man, out.